Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. Tokyo Revengers, the full opening. The song is called Crybaby. The band is, yeah, I don't know how to say this one. I went as far as like looking at an interview on YouTube. I was hoping the interviewer would say the band's name. He did, but it was so fast. I was like, dude, I can't pronounce that. So type in some phonetics in the comments below to help me out. So next time I do better. All right, thank you. I have not even hit play yet. It already looks interesting with this like junkyard background here. I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty sweet. Oh, that was that nice modulation there. That great key change that how the strings like came up and brought us into that. But I was so focused on the concert snare drum and the brass part that was going on. And that that tonal shift was great. I need that again. Right, before we get into this section, that beginning, that groove, that piano, bop, 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 that's happening. It's funny because it's like on this prop piano, this, this piano that's beat the shit in the junkyard here. The bass line's doubling that, and then the only thing we get from the guitar is that juk, juk. It's so nice, and a couple, like one little noodle thing, but the groove is heavy, man. It, it like, it, it's, it pops for sure. Pretty good active bass playing in there. There was like this one little guitar noodle thing and then a descending like da -da 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 I don't know if it was like strings or piano. I couldn't quite tell. I'm just gonna go back 15 to see if I can get that again. It was on when the camera pans over. Actually, I'll go 20. <laughs> God, that I didn't know what I was hearing at first. I thought it was a bridge, and then I was like, Well, wait, this is too much of one thing. And then we like modulated a little, it felt like it modulated, but then the melody lines were just different than what you'd expect. And then we now have come full circle back. But I got lost in the sauce there. Sure, great chord progressions. It just took it took us on a journey. I have to go back because I was really focusing on the lyrics there. His voice sounds so amazing. There's a lot of great things happening. Uh, I actually don't know how far to go back because it was just. Compared to the beginning, I was not ready for that. That was just a different amount here. I take the modulation comment back. We're just we're just ebbing ebbing and flowing through progressions here. Oh, the chord oh man, actually I don't know because that felt like a five of five or some some kind of resolution to bring us back. Uh, I don't know, man. I'd have to sit down and like actually like try to figure out harmonies and stuff, but uh for just looking at it first time. It's doesn't matter though, it sounds great. Oh, 
We got a little swing in there. We almost got a little bit of yodeling in the, uh, I mean, not really, but like just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. A uh, good variety though, coming back around to the hook there. All right, what a change. That is a huge shift uh, of rhythm coming out of everything we've had before. Forget about the harmony and the tonal center shift. This this rhythm shift just like jars everything. We got to go back and get into this again. This is really good right now. What? We, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Suddenly we're in six, eight. We came out of that. That Okay. There's a lot of shifts in here. What is, uh, what is Tokyo Revengers about? What is, okay. This is amazing. I'm going back 10 seconds to grab this. Just final thoughts in that middle section there. I guess if you want to perceive that as a middle section, we got super fuzzy. There was some digital sounds too, but uh, I just love how dark and um, I say the word brooding a lot when things get kind of evil sounding. Anytime I'm playing bass and I get to play a big line like that that's doubled with like low end synth, it's just a lot of fun to do because you feel like, you know, powerful. <laughs> And another switch. Uh, so far, this is my favorite part of it. There's some really great, looks almost sound like some tritone sub stuff going on here as far as chord progressions go. I don't know. I gotta go back five, 10. I just wanna get this part again. And the bass line just was made it all for me. Uh, no. Uh, this the guitar part is cool too. Yeah, there it was. Tritone sub in the descending. Nice suspension resolution. Hold on. How many modulations are in this song? I don't... I need someone... Has anyone sketched out a chord chart? I would not want to take the time to sit on and do all this, but if someone's already done it, I would love to read it. There's so much shifts. Uh, you know, it'd be fun to watch a video. You know, Charles Cornell's at the, the, am I getting his name right? The, the YouTuber that plays piano just does amazing like theory breakdowns and just 
shows you like real time on piano or all the shifts are going because he just has an amazing ear. That's that would be amazing to watch something like that because I, I, this band has so much talent. Whoever's arranged these songs has so much talent to really keep your ear active in the song. Just travels so much. The one thing that I do find funny in this video is the shots of the drummer, not when he's up perched up high, when he's down low and there's more rain and he's got like a jacket going over it. Like there's nothing more uncomfortable drumming than like this. Like when you have like clothes going over your hands, this feels horrible. <laughs> like I was, I'm sure the director was like, yeah, we want you in this like, like big trench coat looking thing. He's probably like, okay. Anyway, let's go back 10. We'll finish it out here. That shift to the major chord on the end, that is beautiful. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure this is my first time hearing this band. I'm not... Sometimes when I've done the multi-anime opening videos, because I've had people make those videos for me and just react to them in real time, I'm not totally sure who the bands are. And also, this is this this anime world and um, uh, Japanese musicians and bands is still brand new to me, so I'm learning. But I'm a huge fan of this group so far, regardless if I've heard them before or not. This song was amazing. Crybaby was an amazing song. Don't forget to type the phonetics in, down there below so I can learn how to say the band's name correctly. Uh, this one I enjoyed a lot, and this was in the, uh, the Patreon chat um, Discord recommendation, so... Thank you for that suggestion. That was awesome. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live so we talk about your favorite bands. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as my Discord server. And if you'd like to support me, my Patreon information is also down there. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.